Hello everyone, welcome to JN Electric YouTube channel. I hope you are doing well. Three days ago, I uploaded this video. To continue this previous video, I have made a sequel video, namely part 3, which has the title is the repair and maintenance of the active subwoofer under seat of the Explode Slim 10 car amplifier. Warning, if you are not familiar with electronic, do not attempt to repair. You could suffer a fatal electrical shock. Instead, contact your nearest service center. Let's watch the video for the third part. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. Previously, this diode has been damaged, namely experiencing short circuit. So I have replaced it with a new one. And I also have to replace this transistor. Actually, it was one transistor that was damaged. But I would better replace these two transistors. It is better to add heat shrink to prevent the spread of the electricity to the left and right pins. We can reinstall these two MOSFET in the original position. There are five spacers that I install on this PCB for the purpose of making it easier to click back so that the components on the PCB are not pressured or damaged. Soldering the pin of this MOSFET is not very difficult, so easy, right? You can also do it at home. I am sure you already know that the function of these two MOSFET is to receive a square wave signal, then amplify it, and then induce it into the toroidal transformer. Soldering to MOSFET is complete. I start soldering these diode pins, start from the anode, then next to the cathode pin. The cause of diode damage is due to incorrect the polarity of the battery. We need to start cutting off the leg or pin of the component that are not needed. After finishing soldering, I have to check the part between the leg of the installed component. There may be a short circuit, so we have to be sure about this work using the continuity of this smoothly tester. Using this large brush is also helpful to clean the residual components that are under the PCB. After the power supply is turned on to the active speaker unit, then I have to check the important parameters, namely whether there is a voltage reading on the regulator for example. I should show important data from the voltage frequency. Based on this short video, I have made a discourse to show you some of this test point. This is the real key for a technician. Applying a small amount of silicon paste to the metal surface of the semiconductor is essential to facilitate the heat absorption of this transistor. Now it is time for us to put this main PCB in the inner box. Install 6 volt into the top hole of the PCB. I have to speed up this video to make time efficient.
This is the job that the man rigger try that the insulation does not shift. Installing six bracket on all transistor is quite tiring as well. Perform an insulation test by attaching the black probe to the body of the unit, then the red probe to the metal surface of the transistor. The test result I did show OL or open loop. This is correct. Connecting this cable, I do not solder it, but I use ferrule connector. And we should and should also have a sound test of this active subwoofer unit.
almost 12 minutes you watching this video. Thank you for watching and waiting for my next video.